Nothing like that has happened since until now. Man, we were watching that on Ustream earlier, you guys, and you can watch the local coverage. You can check out what's going on. You had people literally in their cars with cameras going along, streaming this stuff as they were following what looks like at least an EF4 and maybe an oh EF5 tornado oh. in Tuscaloosa. That's it right there. That eventually went into Birmingham and caused major problems, went through North Birmingham. Now the same system is pushing through Georgia. We've got severe thunderstorm warnings in Atlanta right now. Nothing right now right in Atlanta as far as a tornado warning, but unbelievable stuff. Meanwhile here, what's the first thing you felt well, this you morning? Well, you know what? It makes our whining about the wind not so bad. That's right. Whining so let's whine about the cold. The cold. Yeah. Let's just whine about that this morning. It was. Well, it was a little rough. It was a little rough, and it was cold out there. It won't be this cold tomorrow morning, but we are going to have some cold temperatures out there again to the start of your day tomorrow. Temperatures in the 20s across the northern third of the state. Some teens across our high mountain communities here in the metro will be in the 30s and across the south in the 40s, so feeling a little bit more like late fall versus late spring, but we're going to rebound quickly temperature-wise heading into tomorrow afternoon. 52 in the metro right now. Winds out of the north at 13 miles an hour for us. 30s and 40s off to the north right now. Down to the south, temperatures for the most part 40s, 50s, and 60s. So not a bad evening, but thanks to the clear skies and dry air over us, we're going to plummet those temperatures pretty quickly throughout the night tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Winds not a huge factor at this point. we still got them going around 13 miles an hour in the metro, 12 in Santa Fe, 12 Alamos, and 14 in Deming. These will continue to come down tonight. Tomorrow's not going to be a particularly windy day, but Friday will be. As far as showers go, well, that's not even in the forecast for us over the next couple of days. Lots of clear air for us, so no problems on that front, but we do have to deal with the winds coming up by Friday. So enjoy tomorrow. Clear and cool overnight tonight. And then the difference between today and well, essentially tomorrow will be the fact that we are going to have much warmer temperatures out there, about 15 degrees warmer across the state here, and then we get into Friday and we have to deal with a lot more wind for a couple of different reasons here. We've had to deal with the jet sitting over New Mexico a lot recently. That's going to happen again for tomorrow, so, or excuse me, for Friday. So essentially what we're going to get here is the jet rolling up high, and eventually we push some of those winds down to the surface up to 50 miles an hour in the metro, 65 across the east, but it's not just the jet. We're also going to have a low pressure System slide to the north. That acts as a vacuum cleaner of sorts that'll help to suck some air across the state, too. That will help to peak up winds a bit. And we're also going to have very dry air in place and much warmer temperatures on Friday. So Friday's going to be a worse fire weather day than what we had yesterday. Not a great setup for us. Good thing about yesterday was at least we had some moisture across the north. That's not going to be the case for us for Friday. So the high wind watch in effect all across east central sections and northeast sections for Friday. Could see those wind gusts topping 65 miles an hour. We'll keep you posted on that until we get there across the north and west. Temperatures here for the most part 60s and 70s. South winds 10 to 20 tomorrow. Winds crank up on Friday and then a shower or two possible Saturday into Sunday. Over to the southwest. Temperatures here 70s and 80s. Lots of sunshine. Winds not a real factor, but by Friday they will be with a high of 80 degrees in Silver City. Over to the southeast. Warm tomorrow with winds not a huge factor, but even warmer coming up for Friday. High 95 in Roswell with wind gusts over 40 miles an hour. Needless to say fire weather, the big concern there by the end of the work week. 70 in Raton, 71 Springer, and 79 in Santa Rosa. Your Las Vegas extended forecast. Temperatures for the most part going to warm into the 70s by Friday with a lot of wind. And over the northern mountains, wind not a huge factor tomorrow, but it will be a huge factor by Friday with a high of 74 in Santa Fe. East Mountains, temps topping out tomorrow for the most part in the 70s. And finally, right here in the metro area, great day tomorrow. But not such a great day by Friday. Temps will be good on Friday, but those winds could guess over 50 right here in the city. All right. Thank you, Mark. And we'll be right back with sports.